Hello Blondies and welcome back to Happy Blonde. So today's video is very different but so exciting for me. I decided to create a spring lookbook inspired by the Disney princesses. All of these outfits are park ready which means that you can totally hit the parks in them because they are so comfortable but true true the characters that I chose. All of the links are going to be over on my Instagram so don't forget to follow me on happy.blonde.s. I have amazing pictures over there and I really really hope that you love these spring princess and inspired Disney bound outfits. Let's go! First off, we are featuring Snow White. When I thought of spring, I immediately thought about this princess and this outfit is so so fun. First off, I started off with a bow from my company, Pixie Dusted. It is amazing and it is actually Snow White's bow. I did want to keep Snow's innocence for this outfit, which is the reason why I decided to go with the overalls in the first place. For Snow White is such an elegant, naive, and sweet princess, and that is exactly the vibe that I wanted to give off for this outfit. And of course, the bow is a very, very big part of it. I also added a little necklace that has a little crystal apple, that it is just beautiful and so, so chic. A yellow top. The overalls are actually vintage. They were my mother's and I love that because it gives off that classic retro vibe. And lastly, I decided to go with a pair of red Converse. I think they are so fun and juvenile just like Snow White. And in the end, when you put all the outfit pieces together, you have Snow White, the fairest of them all. The flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. Yes, I absolutely had to create a spring outfit for Mulan. I was inspired by her green dress. First off, I needed that touch of red, which is why I added a ribbon to my hair and I styled it just like hers. My hair is a lot shorter, obviously, but I tried to keep those staple colors from that green outfit. The green, the dark blue, which makes an incredible contrast, and of course, the red lips and the red ribbon. I added some gold earrings because she does wear gold earrings in the movie and sometimes in the parks and they are just incredibly beautiful. A light green top that it actually has an undershirt from Shein underneath. I added this dark blue skirt because I did want a little bit of layering for her but I didn't want it to be entirely flowy and I added black flats. And in the end, you have Mulan's look for springtime. The blue hues make it perfect for springtime and of course this outfit is inspired by Walt's favorite Cinderella. First off, I needed to style my hair just like hers, so I decided to put it up in this fan bun, sort of like that you can call it, and I added a floral headband to match the floral and springtime aesthetic. And when I think of Cinderella, I don't know why, I think of pearls, so I went ahead and added this pearl necklace. I wanted to keep her staple colors because originally Cinderella's dress was actually silver but I decided to go with white and baby blue instead. You can see the hints of baby blue in the headband and on the lace on the shirt. It is absolutely beautiful and delicate. The undershirt is from Shein once more. It is actually a crop top, but I love to use it for layering. And I decided to add a lace white skirt that matches the top beautifully and gives it a princess flow. And I wanted to make her a little bit more casual, so I went ahead with my Adidas Superstar shoes in the kids' holographic version. And you have a modern and sporty version of Cinderella that still keeps you looking classy and elegant. Let's make it pink and create a Princess Aurora inspired outfit. First off, I needed a headband. I didn't want to go for a tiara, so a headband was the perfect fit, and I found this beautiful and flowy pink dress that absolutely reminded me of her because of the neckline. Now, my necklace is actually from Triton's Treasures. It is absolutely beautiful, and it is rose gold. I decided to go with some rose gold flats to match because I do get Epcot vibes from this outfit and of course they match the pink dress beautifully and I think that the main accessory of this outfit is actually the little bag. It is the Disney Animators Collection 
Aurora Children's bag from the Disney store. I saw it and I absolutely needed to have it. I love kids merch so, so much. And lastly, I decided to go for Aurora earrings from the Disney store as well and created this pink dream look inspired by Aurora. Of course, I had to create an outfit inspired by my favorite princess, Rapunzel. Her flowers really give me springtime vibes, so I decided to recreate her braid and add flower clips to my hair. They look absolutely beautiful and princess-like. Now I did want to keep her staple colors, which are the pinks and the purples, so I went ahead with this pink top with lace sleeves and added this beautiful lilac Rapunzel lounge fly backpack. It looks so delicate and elegant and it goes with absolutely everything. Now my shorts are actually from my own boutique. They are the latest piece of merch that we put out. They are hand painted and we actually personalize them to fit your favorite princess and colors. Of course, mine have to be Rapunzel themed. Now I went ahead and added Pascal to my outfit because what is a princess without her sidekick? And to run away from our towers, I decided to go for these beautiful floral high tops from the children's section, of course. This outfit is literally my perfect park outfit because you can Disney bound as a princess and still be comfortable. And last but not least, we must feature our kingdom's symbols with pride, which is why I'm wearing this necklace from Blue Lemon Ink featuring Rapunzel's son. I love it because it has little flowers inside and it is so, so beautiful. And just like that, you have the perfect springtime Rapunzel outfit for you to go and hit the parks. I really hope that you enjoyed this spring lookbook and please let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments section down below and I hope to see you all on my Instagram if you'd like to see the links of some of the pieces. Thank you so much for watching, bye!